What is going on, people? So today I want to talk to you a teeny bit about an app that I've been using for a long time. And no, it is not DaVinci Resolve, although that is a nice editing app for your drone footage on your iPad, or iPad Pro in this example. But this is LumaFusion. So right now I got my Apple Pro Pencil, an M4 iPad Pro, LumaFusion, and I want to talk to you about a couple little things that I think are really handy. They just came out with adjustment clips, and I wanted to show you a real life example of how cool and creative you can get with those. So let's go ahead and try to find that example. Where are you? Do, 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 do. I think it is right here. So if you see, I took four clips and I minimized them to about 25% and they just kind of got them in one position. So if you see, I can play them. They all play. This is a really cool effect. I dig this a lot. But if we go ahead to, here, I got to open that thing up. If I go ahead and hit this little plus sign down here, now we have adjustment clips. So essentially what this is going to do is a non-destructive adjustment, and it's going to apply that adjustment to all these clips below. So this is a good example because you can see four different clips. And if I double tap adjustment layer, I can go ahead and do whatever I want. I can change, cool them all down at the same time, do whatever I want to kind of color grade them at once, all in one little swipe, and it's non-destructive. If I wanted to go back, literally all I have to do is either delete it or hide it. So we're going to go over here and play them back, and you can see how cool that is. And we can go ahead and add whatever we want to it. We can go ahead and color grade it like that with this cool it little effect. We can go ahead and let's see what we can do. You know, thermal is going to be an obvious thing. We can apply to all four clips, not something I would go with. But you can go ahead to something like this, maybe a little, you know, reflection. And that can be a cool way of just getting really creative visually. And I dig this. To me, this is really kind of cool. This is my trip. Like, I like tripping out with footage visually and just getting some really neat edits or little neat pieces that you can kind of play with in your edits. So that's pretty cool. You could also do something like this. If I go back over here, I was playing around with it a little bit just to kind of see what they're all about. And this was a little video I shot when I got my tattoo worked on. My friends purchased this building over here. They're going to make a really beautiful art space. They're amazing artists in Southern Illinois. And yeah, that will be exciting. But as you see, I just shot a little something for him with my knee while I was playing around with it. But I used this adjustment clip to add this kind of cool effect to the outgoing title. So you see that? Kind of cool little fireworks kind of incorporated into it, and it just kind of fades out. I didn't really fine tune it. But you see what I'm doing? I basically have this adjustment layer, which I'll hide, this firework clip, which I shot with my Mavic 3 Pro in the 4th of July kind of zone. I'll hide that. So I have this plain little text that I created by going and hitting this little plus button and hitting overlay title. And I created that, so that's the name of their gallery. And I brought in another clip, which is this firework clip. And then by adding the adjustment layer, I can go ahead and do whatever I want. And I added this big pinch and a zoom. So essentially, I brought in two effects that applied all the way down to everything below it. So it's really pretty fun visually to play with. So this adjustment layer is a non-destructive, easy thing to mess around with without really causing any damage to your footage. So boom. And we can maybe try something else. Let's go into here one more little clip. We'll go into a randomness. So here's some footage of me playing in the ocean. I think 
let's see. Yeah, this is nice. But say we go ahead and get into here. Do, 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 do. Say we add a title. Let's go ahead and add an overlay title. We can say like Hawaii would be an obvious. There we go. We could maybe do the little plain shadow. We'll increase the size. And now what we can do is add an adjustment clip to this title. Boom. Here, let me shorten it. LumaFusion is really great. It's a easier video editing app to use than DaVinci Resolve. Final Cut on the iPad Pro absolutely sucks, so I avoid Final Cut. I love Final Cut Pro on my Mac, on the actual desktop version, but the iPad version blows. Just like the iPad version of Photoshop absolutely sucks. So like we have this adjustment layer, now we didn't have anything added to it. So you see it just says Hawaii, but if we double tap it, we can go ahead and maybe add a little effect to it. And if I was really good, I would probably do some kind of key framing to bring it in. But what I would do instead would maybe just bring in like a transition to it. Let's see if that works. Okay, I still, because it's applying that effect to the entire thing. So I think what I need to do is click here. Um, crystals. I don't know how to do this. I think we have to... So this is the whole entire clip. There we go. So we'll add a keyframe right here. And then over here we can add a keyframe and we'll lower the amount. So that should, I believe, do what we want it to do. There we go. And then we just want to do it on the way out as well. So say right here, I'll add another keyframe. And I'll add one more at the end and then just lower the effect. So let's see what that does now. Boom. But as you see, there's a lot of different ways to play with this. Then we could maybe add that transition that I was wanting to, say right there, just to create things visually. Boom. Okay, that didn't quite work. But you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. So it gives you a lot of creativity with your footage that's non-destructive. And I would definitely play with it and see what you can come up with. You can apply it to the titles, as I said. You know, this was a really good example, just showing multiple clips stacked on top of each other, how that works. So this is really pretty cool just to have, you know, whatever it may be, this may be too much, but let me go ahead and double tap that. Reflection, maybe I'll get rid of that. Do, do, do. Trash that. And let's see what else we can add. Um, yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of creative possibilities. I mean, that's awesome too. So you can see if we play with this for long enough, we can really come up with some really cool trippy type visuals that we can add a lot of interest into our edits which you don't need to even get crazy. You can just add this into one little piece of the clip that has, boom, like this part. Here, where is it? Do, do, no, that's it. So over here, I can clip that and then expand this full size to 100%. we go. That's good enough. So, dun, 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 dun. but you know what I mean? If we cut it into the right area, that actually looks better color graded wise than this. So we can go ahead here. Let me try to match the color. Let me see what I did. I think I went over here. 
something like that. And the color grading tool's in, so it's not matching it perfect. It's a little warmer in the color tone. Let me go over here, maybe cool it down a teeny bit. Something like that. But as you see, just playing this little kaleidoscope part and then going back into the original footage could be a really cool visual to add into your edits. So I didn't want to go too much into this. I just figured we would talk a teeny bit and explore the new adjustment layer or adjustment clip layer on um, your iPad Pro with LumaFusion. So LumaFusion definitely, I would say, is an easy thing to kind of figure out. It takes some time to get used to it, but it's super intuitive in my opinion. You can go ahead and, and let me get back over here. So I can go and double click over here. I can install LUTs. So I have some Mavic 3 Pro LUTs and some other LUTs, Nikon. So you, and that's obviously not the right one, but you can do all kinds of really good color grading if you kind of look into it and install these guys and you can go and you know, lower the effect of it, toggle on and off, play with it, adjust it just like you can in other editing apps, delete that. And yeah, that's it. So let me know if you guys have played around with the adjustment clip in LumaFusion. And that's it. Hope this helps and gives you guys an idea to play visually with your footage. And yeah, pretty cool. So let me go ahead and play that full screen. Like that's super cool visually. So that's it guys. Aloha and happy editing. Bye.